I know you want to be an amazing coach. That's why you're here, right? And you want to be able to get your clients lasting results. Chances are right now you're having a bunch of thoughts about yourself as a coach. I know I had them too. Thoughts like, am I a good coach? What if I can't get them results? What if I can't get them results in the six months they signed up with me? What if they don't get any results? What if they're resistant to my coaching? What if they show up and I have no idea how to navigate their problem? When these thoughts come up, which they will, they do at every level because you are human first. And even though you have coaching tools, you need to be able to coach yourself through them. And in order to be able to really truly help your clients, it's important that you're also able to truly help yourself. And when you are fully in, in integrity, guys, you will feel so confident in your coaching. I 100% promise you that. Self-coaching, I want you to hear this, it's not just a tool for you to be able to show up confidently, but it's also an incredible tool for you to teach your clients. So you no longer feel like you have to have all the answers to them because the answers come from within. The essence of coaching isn't to tell people what to do or how to shift, but to show them how to use their own innate wisdom to make real change. So self-coaching, it doesn't have to be this long, lengthy, time-consuming time consuming process. It just needs to be intentional. So I wanna take you through how I coach myself, how I teach my coaches how to coach themselves, and how they teach their clients how to coach themselves. Adding just this one tool literally changed the trajectory of my coaching business. My confidence began to grow, and as my confidence grew, the results my clients were getting were outstanding, and they were getting them quicker and quicker. So grab a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper, and let me take you through this process right now. The first thing I want you to do is write your goal at the top of the paper. If you don't have a goal right now, I want you to just come up with something quickly for the sake of this exercise. In regards to your coaching business, your goal might be sign a client. It might be sign five clients. Maybe it's a dollar amount that you want to make. Maybe it's on a scale of one to 10. You want to be a 10 when it comes to confidence. You choose and write it at the top of your paper. Now, Write down everything you think right now about this goal, or for your client, it might be the situation they're in. And be very honest with yourself, be real. Take your time, and when you're ready, we'll go to question two. All right, so the second question is how do you feel? How do you feel about this goal, about the situation? Again, when you're ready, come back, and join me. Number three, when have you felt this before? How did you respond? What was the outcome? It's really important that we don't live in our past, but it is important that we use our past to make sure we're not gonna continue to repeat it. When you're ready, we'll move on to four. Number four, what do you think about this goal? What do you want to think about this goal? So for example, if my goal was to sign five clients, let's just say, then I would want to think, of course I can do it. I'd want to think I have so much value to give and people need this. I would want to be thinking things like clients are everywhere. Clients are looking for me. Clients are listening to me. Okay, so I want you to come up with what do you want to think about this goal for yourself or the situation? Okay, question number five I ask myself is what do you want? What do I want to feel? And I want to feel confident, right? I want to feel certain. I want to feel really loving. And I love the idea of feeling playful, playful as I work towards this, right? I want to feel at ease. You don't want to be stressed out for sure. Come up for yourself. What do you want to feel? And then question six, 
what's working right now for you. I find so many of my clients really struggle with this. And before I got into mostly working with coaches and I was really doing a lot of general life coaching, I found Oh, oh my clients really struggle with this. So you're not alone if you're struggling, but do know things are working right now. And I want you to dig deep and find them. Maybe it's as simple as you got up this morning, you took a shower and you're here. Maybe it's you're watching this video and taking steps, right? And improving your skills as a coach, taking steps to move your business along. Come up with a few. All right, the next one that I ask myself is, why do I not believe this is possible? And this is one that sometimes people want to ignore. They want to just shovel it under the carpet, but it's there. And we need to bring it to the surface. We need to see it. We need to shed some light on it. Let yourself see what you're holding yourself back from. Number eight, why is it possible for you? Mm, I love this question. I love diving into possibility. And when I think about this, I think about, of course it's possible for me because there's so many people out there that want what I have to offer, okay? So I want you to think about why is this possible for you? If you're struggling here again, one of the things I always like to go to is I truly believe that God wants me to have everything that I desire. So that alone, bingo. That's why it's possible for you. All right, next question. Number nine, what will you be telling yourself once it happens? This is such a fabulous question. I want you to get into done energy. And we talk about this more and more in my coaching program, but I want you right now, what will you be telling yourself once it's happened? What will you be feeling? When we can embody that now, right? We can start to begin to step into it. What will you do today to work towards making this happen? What are you gonna to do to seal the deal? The last two questions, I actually usually hold them off and answer them before I go to bed. Let me give them to you right now. What can you celebrate right now? And the last one is, what are you appreciative of right now? You make your list. So now of course, you might not have the answers to every question every day. Some days you may stop at one and then want to dig deeper and start to ask yourself questions. The same type of questions that you would ask a client to get underneath the layers. I want you though right now to commit to yourself that I'm going to do this for myself and for my clients at least five days a week, at least the days you work, right? It's like cleaning up your brain. It's brain hygiene, okay? It's turning on the lights. When we keep it all up in here and we don't get it out, it just clouds it all up and we really can't see it clearly. Doing this exercise with yourself daily is gonna build a deep level of intimacy with yourself. I promise you that. A deep level of self-trust and it will grow your confidence drastically. So make a decision and commit right now that you will add this one tool to your life and you will share it with your clients. You and them will both use it daily. All right, tomorrow, I'm super excited to share with you another one of my favorites that shifted my coaching skills and my business, and it's really helped me get my clients' results quicker. So tune in tomorrow.